Hey Damien, just a, a, a small private video for you. Uh, you asked me about the Commodore 64 loaders. Well, I've uh, I've got this one made by a fellow Dutchman, Gideon, and I'll I'll uh, email you about this and I'll send you a link. But uh, yeah, it, it 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 this is one of the most advanced uh, versions out there. Uh, it, it also has a sound port uh, so that it actually produces drive sounds <laughs> when using the floppy disk. But you just, uh, yeah, if you have your basic, your white, your, your modern white uh, Commodore 64, uh, you basically plug this in the cartridge port. I'm actually thinking about perhaps putting this into, uh, into a, a nice cart uh, house. And it actually uh, connects over to the um, the serial the serial port, which actually connects the drives to, and this is the cassette port. Uh, this uh, supports both um, uh, disk ROM images as tape files, uh, and the disk is actually supported by loading over this cable. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna insert this, and uh, I'll show you how it works. Okay, you can see it is now connected on the cartridge port and I'm actually supporting the weight of this cable by this, by this thing. So yeah, just hook it up to the power and uh, let's see how that works. Okay, so I've just switched on my CRT and select the proper, oops, select the uh, proper AVIA out. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, you do need a monitor cable, of course. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's hook that up. Okay, so I switched on the system again. I'm just using the same monitor cable as the VIC-20. Uh, so, so, yeah, let me, let me turn it on and off again, because you get this menu. And uh, here I've got, it, it, it supports program files, which are direct dumps. And you just press enter. And then uh, it is loaded into memory, because if you press list. So it's like a save state type of thing. So you have uh, the, the famous Jeff Minter uh, Llamasoft game. Joystick one. Level one, so I'll press fire to begin. Oh well, you need a different joystick port. <laughs> That's the sh so. Um, and by pressing one of the uh, reset buttons, you just go back, and you can load, for example, a tape file and a 1943, 1943. So when the cursor starts blinking. The program has loaded. You press list and it's there. Okay, so this is a crack game. Well, let's press the space bar because they usually have the function keys or it's still decompressing. So, yeah, so that's your tape file. And so it's the 1540. One Ultimate Plus, and I've got ROM uh, operating system 1.5 on there. But let's go and see transfer discs. These are actually all my original discs that I numbered, and I've transferred them to uh, to uh, and I've transferred them to. Uh, to this SD card run. So this is one of the programs I created in the past. Let's press reset because I wanted to show you the disk files. I've created some demo files and uh, what is it? Disk demos and let's see a nice one. Vicious Sid. That should be interesting. 
I really have to turn it off and turn it on again. Go to demos. Let's go to Vicious Sid. Load the directory. Type list. So I guess I should type load for that. It's supposed to support uh, turbo loaders as well. It is not as compatible, but most crack games, they, they'll just work fine. Uh, original discs, well, you, uh, you would have a problem transferring them to a disc image anyways. So, uh, uh, yeah, but most, most, if not all, software out there for the Commodore 64 will just run off this device. Uh, if you get one of these devices, you do need a serial cable. Uh, let's, let's have that load. Um, I do have another similar device. So this device is actually the 1541 Ultimate, which is the most compatible device. And I've, I've got this other device, which is, let's turn it off. I've got this other device. And this one, which uh, is a similar cartridge, but only supports loading PRG and tape files. But this is fairly uh, fairly cheap. Uh, I always believe in using this type of uh, solutions for the older computers, as the wear and tear on the 1540 on the original 1541 is something I'd much rather avoid. And uh, yeah. Nicely loading stuff from tape. Uh, Richard, uh, 2008. Let me see. Hopefully, I'll just be able to load the first file. Yeah, and I think you're you're, you're from New Zealand, right? Or uh, or uh, New, New Zealand, I think. Uh, so you'll probably be alright with uh, with PAL systems. Um, this is a, this card is this 1541 Ultimate is actually uh, produced in the Netherlands. So I really want to hook 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 up this. Oh well. I hope you enjoyed this. Okay, hope you hope you uh, yeah, hope you got some information out of it. So, talk to you later.